Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of constant of proportionality. This is standard 7.4c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 8 of the 2024 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so a diver had descended 64 feet underwater after four minutes. After six minutes, now the diver had descended 96 feet underwater. So what is the constant of proportionality that relates the number of feet descended to the number of minutes? So let me draw a picture of really something that we are kind of thinking about here. So I'm going to pretend like we've got a graph here because that's really what it looks like we are discussing right? And take a look. Number of feet descended, y, right? So they go ahead and give you the name of the y-axis. Number of feet descended. All right, so that means we're going down because it's a diver. And then x is your number of minutes, okay? So that's going to be number of minutes. And really what they're doing is they are asking us to look at these two points. So after four minutes, so I'm going to put a four right there, it was 64 feet. All right, so I'm just going to put 64 right there. So 64 feet. So this is four minutes, 64 feet. And then 96 feet underwater after six minutes. All right, so we're going to move forward a little bit, six minutes. Six minutes and then 96 feet underwater. Okay, so that maybe goes up there, right? So we don't really need this graph, but I just want us to visualize what exactly we're looking at here, right? And these are feet underwater. So uh, if we wanted to, right, we could actually flip this graph upside down uh, and we could, you know, have them going lower and lower and lower if we wanted to. But really, what we're looking at is we're just looking at what is the what is the constant of proportionality. Okay, so the constant of proportionality, if we look at our reference material here, it shows us, it's that second one right there, k equals y over x. Okay, so let's write that down. And we'll say k equals y over x. Now this is an idea that's going to be very very important for us, and we'll call it many different things, right? In this problem, we're calling it a constant of proportionality. And other uh, situations, we might call it the rate, rate of change, even slope. We might represent it with the letter M rather than the letter K as we move on through the years. But really, what we're trying to figure out is how much difference, right, is there between these two points. And you notice we've got this right here, this y over x. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the change in y, so I'm going to represent it like this, right, over the change in x. Okay, that gives us this rate. Now, what we have here is we've got a 96 and a 6. So we can put those two points together, right? So let's say 96 over 6. Okay. Now another point on this same line here is also going to be 64 over 4. So if we did it right, both of those are going to equal something. And they should be the same thing, right? So let's divide 4 into 64, that goes 1, 24, so that's 16 evenly. Let's see if the same thing happens here. 6 goes into 96, goes in once. 3, there we go, 16. So that constant of proportionality, that rate is 16 feet, and that's going to be per minute, because what we're doing is we're checking it per minute, so our answer here is D.